Oh, hello, YouTube. Today in the Naughty Library, and I'm going over my November TBR list. So this November, I'm kind of really going hard on fantasy rather than romance. Like I had like a summer romantic escapade where I really like dug deep into rom-coms and historicals and stuff, mainly because I needed it for mental health purposes. But you know what? It's fall time now, and it's time for some spooky or fantasy delights. So I got a bunch of really... I don't know, interesting, I guess, is the best word for it. <laughs> Fantasies on deck for November. So let's go. This is what's on deck. This is what I'm going to be reading. Starting things off, I have my channel member and patron exclusive book club pick for the month, which is Thistlefoot by Jenna Rose Nethercroft. And this one seems really, really cool and like weird because it's like, I don't know, it's kind of um like what if like Baba Yaga came to America a little bit? They have these two siblings and they have been separated since childhood. They're estranged. And then one day they get a letter that they both have received this like strange inheritance with is Thistlefoot, which is a sentient house that walks around on chicken legs that once belonged to their relative Baba Yaga. And it comes along with this guy who's like a bad guy and he's like trying to steal the house or do evil things. And the siblings kind of have to band together save the day, etc. But um, yes, I was kind of really feeling this for like November for fall leading into winter vibes is Baba Yaga. It's kind of very like folktale oriented. Also, it's going to have like kind of a little bit morally gray characters. <laughs> so I don't know. I'm really excited to read this with all of you. So this is the official book club pick. I'm super excited. I'm also going to continue on with my Anne Rice journey and this month I'm doing something a little different because there's these two books in the Vampire Chronicles world that kind of just happen. They're kind of like side quests. They're just like um, outside of the normal storyline but important to the storyline. So I have two of them and basically they're kind of just like biographies of two different vampires. So I have Pandora and Vittorio. And I'm just going to do both because for Anne Rice, these are very short. Um, mind you, they're smaller in size and page numbers. So like, I feel like I could read both of these fairly quickly. And, and I figured I'll just do like the review video of both of them. Why not? Because they're kind of like outlying to the series. But these are both vampires in the series. So I think it's important to read it. But uh, yeah, Pandora made by Marius. She's kind of, um, I don't know, she was like ancient Rome, ancient Egypt combination of that era, kind of the Mark Antony Cleopatra era. So she might have a really cool story. Vittorio, I know less about, but judging by the cover, this looks like, um, I don't know, medieval or Renaissance, probably Italy. And i um, excited. I think it's going to be really cool. I'm going to read both of them, do a full review video on them. So yes, getting into some interesting vampire biographies. But side note to that also, I want to knock these two books out because I also want to take a break from Vampire Chronicles and start Mayfair Witches. So many of you have been telling me I need to read the Mayfair Witches series and I've been wanting to. I actually own the whole thing. I own the whole trilogy. I need to do it. They're just very long. Like long for Anne Rice long. <laughs> They're very long books. But I want to do it. So I'm going to get into that and it's going to be a good time. And also I know the show is coming out soon. So I definitely want to get ready for that so I can start doing some recaps on the new AMC show, which comes out in January, I believe. So I want to be ready. So I want to get those out of the way. So December, I can start fresh on Mayfair Witches. Very excited about all that. And also, also... The Mayfair Witches and Vampire Chronicles are very linked to each other. And then the next book in Vampire Chronicles, I think is important to read after Mayfair Witches because it involves the Mayfair Witches very heavily. So I want to be like ready. <laughs> so I feel like it's a good breaking point in the series to just move towards Mayfair. Okay, so those are all the special feature books, but now I have all of the rest of the like fantasy delights I'm going to be reading. Let's get into those. So for starters, I have these two books. Mind you, these were both on October's TBR and I did not read them. <laughs> I got busy and didn't read them, so they moved in November because I do want to read both of these very badly. So I have Sunbearer Trials by Aidan Thomas and I have Rust in the Root by Justina Ireland. I'm obsessed with both of them. I need to read them. Loki, I'm more obsessed with Rust in the Root than I am with Sunbearer Trials, but like I want to read both. 
So Sunbearer Trials is fantasy world is kind of like low key based on like Mesoamerican mythology. I love Aidan Thomas as an author, but I think this is the first book that's not that's more definite fantasy world oriented rather than um, their other books, which are kind of real world fantasy. Like they're both spooky, but they happen in the real world, which I enjoyed quite a bit. And this one, I feel, I don't know how like fantasy world heavy it's going to be, but it's going to be cool. I know it features um, a trans boy main character and like a competition fight to the death situation. There's a sun god. There's like a lot of things going on in here that I'm like, vibing with but overall like I don't know I don't know I don't know why I have this block about it somehow I'm just worried about it but I know I'm gonna read it I'm gonna like it it just I just have a block Did everyone get that about books you're just like you're just like putting off reading something you know you'll like is it just me also rust in the root I don't have a block about I just got too busy and didn't read in October but I do really 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 want to read this oh my gosh I I love Justina Ireland auto by author for me and this one in particular is so cool because it's kind of like uh, Great Depression a roaring 20s Great Depression era America alternate history what if magic just always existed and how would the government regulate that and we're following you know a young mage trying to make her way in the big city and they have to, you know, solve a crime of evil stuff. <laughs> I'm not doing a good job like describing the plot of this, but I am, I'm so excited to read this. It's gonna be so good, I'm, uh, I'm like so excited. I am also going to be reading The Golden Enclaves by Naomi Novik. So this is the big finale to the Scullaman series. And I have really liked the series. It's kind of like a dark comedy, I would say because it is about a magical school, but it's not, you know, Hogwarts. It's not something whimsical. This is like evil magic school where like there's literal monsters crawling in the walls that eat kids. Like it's, <laughs> it's a very dark setting. And there were some big ass bombshells, cliffhangers in the, in the last book that I'm like, I have been waiting so long to get closure on and I need it. <laughs> I just, I want it so bad. I'm so excited. This is the first book where we really are going into the bigger world of the magician community and finding out like maybe everything was bad in the Skullamance, but maybe it's bad outside of the Skullamance too. I don't know. It's going to be interesting. I'm excited. It's a big finale. I have high hopes and expectations. Hopefully they will not let me down. Also kind of fantasy adjacent. This is more of like a murder mystery thriller. I Have Nothing More to Tell by Karen M. McManus. And this one is definitely a murder mystery, uh, characters with things to hide type of story. Basically there was this girl and she left this like fancy school she was going to five years ago. And she left after the murder of one of her favorite teachers. And three students happened to find the body. Her best friend was one of them. And now she's back in town, it's been five years, and she's gonna be interning for her favorite true crime podcast kind of thing. And she's like, I'm gonna start looking into this murder. The way to do that, find those three kids who found the body, but you know, maybe they have some secrets. Who, who, who murdered this teacher? It's unsolved and I bet they're gonna solve it and it's gonna be dramatic. <laughs> But Karen M. McManus has written other like um, whodunit murder mysteries that I have very much enjoyed. So I am excited for this one. I think this is maybe a bit more new adult because I think these kids have to be out of high school. If it's five years later after her favorite teacher died and she was already in high school, I'm assuming she's out of high school. But um, yeah, I'm excited. I think it's going to be really cool. Ah! So now we're gonna move into like fantasy romance area. Cause like, I, I'm not gonna get any romance in this month. Like, have you met me? I am going to be reading A Curse of Queens by Amanda Boucher. And this is kind of, um, I don't know, a continuation or maybe a spin-off of the Kingmaker Chronicles, which is an original trilogy. I really liked it. If you like fantasy romance, this is a good book for you. There's magic, there's the Greek gods. It's a good one. And this is kind of um, different characters that we were full on doing a will they won't they in that series. And like, I bet they're going to do it in this one. They're going to will in this one. They're not going to won't. So um, they are going on this quest. It's Jocasta and Flynn. And they have to find like Cersei's garden and they're looking for an antidote to like a poison or a curse or something. 
and um, a lot of you know close proximity they're probably you know there's only one tent like <laughs> i guess we're not gonna have beds along the way probably but yeah it's gonna be that and you know greek gods peril is gonna be a fun one i really enjoyed the original trilogy so i want to continue on with it and um yes very excited I am also going to be reading A Taste of Golden Iron by Alexandra Rowland. And this one, oh my gosh, have you seen this cover? It's gorgeous. This cover is so pretty. But um, this kind of like Byzantine inspired, it's an MM romance, enemies to lovers. I think it's slow burn as well. But, you know, we have like a prince and he has to kind of prove his loyalty and he has like, um, I don't know, like a metallurgy kind of magic where he can like figure out if coins are or metals are false or true metals and i think it's like um like a money forging situation which is treason here so one of those things and then he has like a guard and like guy who's also investigating the crime a lot of forced proximity maybe there's only one bed i don't know is there a theme here maybe i'm thinking so but um i've been really 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 wanting to read this one and i'm very excited to be doing it this november this cover is gorgeous i think it's going to be super fun it was blurbed by both tessa grattan and jen lyons and i love jen lyons I I read the whole rune of King's like, I don't know, there's five books in it, whatever that elegy, like a trilogy, but with five, <laughs> like whatever the name of that is. I read the whole series. It's incredible. So if she's going to blurb this, it's probably going to be pretty fun. And I'm, I'm just so pumped. Last up on deck for November, I have just a full on romance. Like I just had to throw in one. I couldn't just do all fantasy. So I have On the Hustle by Adriana Herrera. I love Adriana Herrera. Like her books are so fun. They are wonderful me time books. They are smutty AF and like it's gonna be funny and adorable and I'm so pumped to read this. This is like Alba and Theo. Uh, Alba, she has peak oldest sister energy and she's always taking care of everybody. She is like the um, like the personal assistant for Theo who's like an Olympic swimmer and he's a nightmare and she's like, you know what, I'm done. I'm gonna move, blah, 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 bye. She moves to Texas because she has like other friends there and um things are going okay and then one day who comes a knocking theo he's like hey i want to do this home renovation tv show you should do this with me and then like theo starts acting all nice and stuff and i was i'm like there's gonna be so much sexual tension and then like they're gonna bang the bejesus out of each other and i'm living for it so i'm so excited to read this it's gonna be the perfect me time book I, this is like a book you get on the couch with your comfy pillows and then you drink a glass of wine and you just have a ball. So this is that book for me. I'm gonna enjoy it. Maybe, maybe to relax after Thanksgiving, this will be the book. <laughs> All right, so that does it officially for November. I got a lot of really cool things on deck and cool things coming up in the future as well. I am just really excited. I'm, blah, there's so many like kind of cool fantasies in here. I'm very excited to read them all. Let me know in the comments down below, what do you have on deck for November? Are you reading something in particular that you're super hyped about? If so, what is it? Or um, I don't know, just, just tell me whatever you want. <laughs> it's a free for all in the comments today. Let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video, make sure you give it a like. And if you wanna see more videos, make sure you subscribe. Also, if you want cool exclusive content, including early access to videos and a book club, you can consider becoming a channel member or a patron. The links for that are in the description down below. And on that note, I will see you guys soon. Bye.